Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showcasing an updated projectile shooting utility from what I've showcased in the past. This one can more accurately track what player or entity is shooting the arrow, as well as uh, display more proper death messages than the, the previous ones. And this one also uses only eight commands because I am using a much more simplified version. Instead of doing scoreboard calculations, I am using a raycast, which I've discussed in the past. I'm not sure if I described it in detail, but I'll try my best to describe it in this video. So this not only is pretty much exactly accurate as it can be, it can also play the hit sound that you get as well as display a proper death message. So let's go ahead and switch over to the function. As you can see previously, it is eight commands. We have four subsections. We have the entity summoning, writing the UUID data for the owner UUID. Then we write the data to the arrow, and then we have some terminations that kill the area effect cloud we're summoning here, as well as removing the tag from the arrow that I use for identification. So this right here is the sort of basic raycast this right here, this caret notation, determines how fast the arrow is traveling. I have it set to 2 at the moment, but I can change that speed to whatever I feel is more, more fit to the situation. It is hard-coded. I can make a more modular system if I want to, but I didn't feel it was necessary for this demonstration. Basically what happens is since motion and double their stores, motion and position are stubbled... God, stored as both doubles, you can sort of use them interchangeably if you use caret notation by positioning a command at exactly 0, 0, 0, you can essentially have that caret notation placement be the ratio of motion for the arrow. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, then after that, I after I summon that area effect cloud that essentially does the motion calculation for me, I then summon an arrow uh, ahead of the player and this has a tag as well as just the color negative 1 because currently in 1.14.4 arrows still display particles by default. In the newest snapshot this has been fixed. Apparently it was a bug. I was not aware it was. I thought it was just a weird quirk. So the next section here is writing UUID data. Basically what we're doing is in a jukebox that we have at 000, we are writing some owner UUID information into a record tag. Uh, and then this right here is then being written onto the arrow with the data modify merge. Um, the reason I have to do this is because both entries of the owner UUID have to be entered at the same time or else it invalidates both. Uh, otherwise, I could just write directly from the player that is executing this command onto the arrow. But since I have to write them at the same time, I have to do a merge from the jukebox. And then right here is the actual uh, writing the position of that area effect cloud that I summon up here onto the motion of the arrow. And then at the end here, we just kill that area effect cloud, as I said, and remove the tag. So that is a very simple uh, raycast-like method of calculating a projectile velocity uh, and then also writing the owner UUID values onto it. Uh, so hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, I've been absent as of lately because I uh, didn't really have a computer set up. Uh, kind of an announcement here at the end, sorry. I didn't have a really computer set up. I was sort of busy in things as well. So I'm back up. Uh, I'm taking requests, I guess. If you have any ideas or uh, questions about things you want made, I can take my best go at it. Um, currently, I'm just sort of doing just a bunch of small projects. So taking up a bunch more would kind of be fun for me. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.